Hello, let me introduce myself. My name is Steve Coburn. I am the Technical Specialist for Sterling Systems, and today I would like to present a webcast about the differences between Revit LT 2013 and the full version of Revit programs. To start off, let's notice the home screen in that the Revit LT, which I have in front, is a little bit different. You can see that compared to the full version, I do not have the generic templates that come out of the box and the Autodesk Seek icon is different than the full version. During the presentation, the full version will be behind and my LT in the front. The first thing we need to mention about Revit LT is the family editor. We know this is what Revit is mainly built with. So if you can't develop content, then you're pretty much left up to finding content online. What you will see is I open the family editor and start with the open template page. We will see it is mostly the same. It's got most of the same templates that are on the full version. But you will notice that LT does not have the duct, duct fitting, and duct elbow templates that the full version does. LT is also limited on certain hosted families. We see that there are several generic models that are wall based, floor based, etc. In the full version, there are several different ones that LT does not include. Let me scroll down and we now see that we have several more templates such as adaptive and pattern based. But notice that we have the electrical and duct based templates that I told you about earlier. Be aware that Furniture Systems template is not in LT. All it is is, all it has is the furniture template. You may never know when you might need these type of families. As I browse to open up one of the families here, let's pick the generic model for example. You will notice that there are some differences within the look and feel of your user interface. You can see the differences between the full version and LT. When you first open up the family editor, you will see the subtle differences. First of all, the connectors in the full version do not show up in LT as it does not have the option to place them on your content. And I'll explain a little more about that as well when we get into the actual project workspace. So what I'll do is show you some items here that are the main difference. Opening a template file in LT is limited to using only a default template. Where in the full version, if I were to create a new project, I can choose from a construction template, architectural template, structural template, even the mechanical template. As this opens up, another item you will notice is the absence of the systems panel. As you can see, LT only has the architecture and structure tabs, where the full version has the architecture, structure, and systems panels, which also include tools for mechanical, plumbing, and electrical disciplines. In the full version's massing and site menu, we have more tools that allow conceptual design build elements that also allow you to draw any shape of mass and deliver more site tools to help aid in landscaping. LT will not draw masses and has limited tools for site design. The full version also includes tools that will analyze structural and all MEP systems. Collaboration is also a major item for Revit. Most companies would hate it if you could not link in files completely and then not be able to manage them. Revit's tools in this area involve several different types of issues. You can link in Revit, DWG, DWF, point cloud files, and import GBXML and image files. With the full version, you can modify those LinkedIn files as well, all within the system. With Revit LT, you do not have all of these options. The only options you have are linking in Revit, DWG, DWF files, importing images, and being able to turn them on or off. 
Revit's full version allows the user to control every aspect and lets you go deeper into that linked file in order to turn on or off different elements, different families, or different disciplines. You can also change line weights and line colors if needed. Another option gaining momentum that LT does not have is that under your insert menu, I mentioned point cloud files before, you can import these files that have been created by the civil engineer or surveyor and use them to recreate your site or even building to start your design with. Up next are decals. Decals are images imported that can be laid on surfaces and then used in the rendering. We also have GBXML files that can be managed within the full version. LT does not have the ability to work with decals or the GBXML file formats. A few more issues I need to tell you about. One that goes along with collaboration is work sharing. If you're putting more than one person on a project, then you need the work sharing tool for your office. This allows multiple users per single file. So, if I had an architect, structural engineer, and a mechanical engineer, just an example, all within the same office, they all could manage the same file. LT will not allow you to do that. Another major thing that is a big deal is the API. Within Revit LT, the API is working, but you do not have any way of modifying it to recreate any kind of third-party tools. So, all the third-party apps that manufacturers are creating and those software companies outside of Autodesk to go along with Revit, you will not have the ability to bring them in. For example, with a couple of programs that I have, one here called Structsoft Solutions. They actually help the user with putting in metal or wood studs and floors for your project automatically. The Revit LT would not allow that to happen because it does not involve the user within the API. Even though there are some major differences, if you're looking to be a single user for an architectural renovation, then it might be what you need. But if you need to collaborate with multiple users, if you need to bring in files to use and collaborate along with your project, like structural, mechanical, electrical, and plumbing files, you're going to need the full version because Revit LT will not be what you need. It's just, just not going to work for you. So given these differences, I know this was very short, plain and simple, but you needed to know the differences between the two. I hope that I gave you enough information so you could pull away what you needed to know about the differences between Revit LT and the Revit 2013 program. This concludes the webcast and have a great day.